Okay, I need to say something to the geniuses, like even Elon Musk, okay? Now, why are we going to the moon? The moon isn't made of materials that we can survive on. I know because I've been there, and it doesn't matter. I don't need to prove it because people don't understand. I've been to everything. I've been everything. And I am the guy who can say it and show you if you want to listen from your heart. But if you want to listen from your mind, let's say people like Elon Musk. We're going to the moon because he always wanted to when he was a kid. And it doesn't matter how much it costs, how much kind of fuel, what kind of things it takes to do it. We're just going to rip up the earth and go there. The earth is ear plus H. What you hear plus after you analyze it, you add it to H here. And then it becomes inside you and becomes your heart. And it is how you live. That's why we're on earth. We could never call it anything else. Every existence is, has birth and earth. It doesn't matter. Especially if they use these kind of symbols, the ones that we use in this dimension. This is true. If you really understood what I was saying, if you really get into the details of it, you'd see what I mean and you'd know that this is true. The word earth means something. The reason that it's spelled that way is the shape of the letters. Ear plus H. Heart. Earth. So anyway, when you want to write something down on a piece of paper, you don't write it down by putting the piece of paper on, a, on some bubbly plastic or some or a, or a waterbed. No, you put it on something firm, like a book or a table, or at least your leg, and then you push sort of slightly so you don't poke into your skin. But you want something firm and solid to write on, right? Well, in order to live and have an organic sensing body, ah, you need certain things. You need certain materials, and they're here on Earth so that you can build that material. If you go somewhere else, you're going to have material that's of a different kind. It won't give you the senses. You won't even be able to feel. Now, do you want to live on the moon and feel stuff that doesn't make sense? From Okay, we could go there. We can inhabit it and plant stuff there. But if you would think that the moon belongs to us to go do that too, you would be dumb. It doesn't belong to us. It's not here. It's obviously there. And even if you come from a place of oneness, that would be like saying, I'm all things. I'm going to go to my neighbor's house and tell him what he's going to do. Well, there's no neighbor at the house, so I can change it. Well, there's things there, and you don't go there and change it just because you want to. You have to understand that. Harmony is harmony. Disharmony is doing what you want to and not with, without asking everybody else. Everybody else. And if it's going to harm something, then you don't do it. If it's not going to harm anything, you can do it. That's right. That's what a right is, to not harm anybody. And you can still do whatever you want within those guidelines. So we don't go moving around trying to live on different planets. We do already. But we won't feel it in the human body. If we try to go there in the human body, we're going to live just as long as an ant lives in a beehive. It's not going to happen. Or one bee in an ant, an ant hill. It's not going to happen. You don't do that. It's just stupid. The most biggest genius we think we have, the, the richest man in the world, he's got a lot of money. It doesn't make him the smartest. It means that he's had people listen to his ideas. That's what it means. He's done some great things with the Tesla car. You know what did it? The name. That's all. I'm Tesla. I've, I know the, the life of Tesla. I'm raw. I know the life of raw before it was just used as some kind of allegory. It's really something. It's really a being. If you can't see the sunlight and call it a ray of sun and say that Ra is the sun god and say that it would have to go through a progression from sunlight to plant to animal to man, well, guess what? I experienced that. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. It's the truth. You will experience it. You already have in infinite times, but you forgot it because your ego got in the way. Now, once you merge back into that and stay on Earth... Holy cow, is it amazing. People around you may be falling apart. The world may be falling apart, it seems. But the earth itself will stay. The world upon it is the words living. It's word, W-O-R, like war, but in its big sense. L, which is the 12th letter, which we base everything off 12 months and 12 and 12 for our time. And, and 12 is just that whole thing about 12 and 12 makes 24. One day after that is the 12, 24, 25 is Christ's birthday because that's when you make the new day come. That is when the, the sun is born. That is when life is given. That's why that comes out that way to our English belief system. That's why. 
Those are the reasons. It's right there for you. So you don't go around going, I heard this stuff in a book, and I'm going to tell everybody about it because it makes sense to me, and I think it's real. If you know it's real, then you have the right to share it. If you don't know for sure, don't share it. Or if you do share it, say, I'm not for sure, but take this in and consider it. That's what you do. I'm only doing this because I know it's true. I care about Elon Musk. I love him. I want him to do the right thing for people. He's got potential to do some great things, but instead he's worried about being a big name. Think about it. Come on. Anyway, I love you guys. Till next time, peace.